hello and welcome back to my channel so today's video as you guys can see from the title i know you guys saw the thumbnail picture is going to be on this hair now this hair is from icy hair so what the packaging looks like this is their infamous mongolian kinky curly hair now when i first brought this hair to you guys i brought it to you guys initially eight months ago so it's really been a whole eight months since i've had this hair texture and you really can't even tell like it just looks perfect if not even better now than it did before the only thing that i did was kind of give it a little bit of a trim i just wanted to kind of shape it to get it to kind of frame my face a little bit because before it was about like right here so um, I didn't cut it straight across as you guys can see you never really want to cut curly hair straight across so I had to strategically go in and cut it get it to the desired length I will link my initial video down below so you guys can go back and take a look at that so you guys can see how it looked there versus how it looks now I pretty much said all that to say that that is something that's totally optional I'm just letting you guys know what has changed about the hair I went in and plucked the hairline uh since i've been wearing it a little bit more so it just looks a little bit more i don't know a little bit more natural i guess and this is with no baby hairs at all this is the bedhead hard head extra hold hairspray i used a little bit of this and a little bit of the yellow got to be but literally that's it but it's melted as if this was a you know lace glue install so just to give you guys a rundown of the specs of this wig again this is the 13 by 6 mongolian kinky curly lace front wig so as you guys can see i do have it in i think it's 130 or 150 density i can't remember off the top of my head but i will put the correct density down below in the description box as well as the link for this wig of course and that is pretty much it the lace color is a medium brown no issues with the lace or anything and i'm glad that i didn't over pluck it or go too hard with the plucking when i first got it because that's one of the things with wigs i don't think that my lace would have lasted this long if i would have went too hard with the plucking so i'm glad that i didn't i'm gonna slick all this back in a moment but this is pretty much how i've been wearing it all day long but this is what the hairline is looking like I try to get it to be as natural as possible without taking too much hair out the hair itself is perfect it's absolutely flawless but I feel like the reason why people's wigs give out a little bit sooner than they should nine times out of ten is not really the hair it's more so the lace like you know frontals and closures they're gonna bald and do whatever it is that they do but I'm learning not to go too heavy with the plucking so I can get as much use out of my wigs as possible of course this is the six inches of parting space you guys it goes all the way back there and I don't have a wig cap on underneath this wig and this is pretty much what the lace is looking like no wig cap no ball cap method no anything i normally don't do that i normally do have a wig cap on underneath but for some reason i feel like it looked a little bit better without the wig cap being on it so i just opted not to go ahead and do that this time so this is how the hair has pretty much been looking all day long i love this look this just kind of big like carefree look like i love this look i love when the hair is wet but i love it even more when it just looks like i really didn't do much to it because i really didn't the only thing that i put on this hair is just water and a little bit of mousse and that's pretty much it once it dries completely this is what it looks like pretty much at the end of the day of course i have been like touching it and fluffing it out but this is pretty much the curl pattern and the definition and the natural luster and shine that i get after a complete day's worth of wear if i want to do like the wet look with this hair i will but i don't do the wet look with this hair too often because number one i feel like this is some really good quality kinky curly hair and i feel like it doesn't need a lot of product on it um i will use my cantu curling custard on this hair and water if not those two then just mousse and water and that's pretty much it i don't feel like this hair needs any type of oils on it or anything because it's very thick and full and i feel like putting too much product on it will just kind of weigh it down 
so I choose not to do that. This is kinky curly hair, so the ends are very, very coily. They're very tight. They're very spirally. They're just so beautiful. Like, this is what I would love for my natural hair to look like. Not that I don't love my natural hair, but this just reminds me so much of, like, a really bomb natural hair curl pattern. I'm just trying to get my point across of saying that this hair looks extremely natural now what i will do i think is get this in the bundle form because i have seen a lot of other young ladies reviews and they've gotten this hair in bundles to use for like you part wigs and sew-ins but i want to get the bundles because when i do want to wear my natural hair i want to be able to do a ponytail with it without having to use heat i want to do like a natural ponytail and i feel like this would really blend nicely with my hair and just look so so eight months later what can i say about the hair the lace is still intact um the shedding is normal it hasn't like increased or started shedding a lot more or anything like that it's curly hair so yes it's going to shed i don't get a lot of shedding because i feel like i go in and i detangle the hair properly i do get a little bit of shedding but not a terrible amount of shedding the key with that is to just make sure to detangle it when it's wet like i would never start brushing through it like this i'm able to pretty much finger detangle this hair you know just using my hand so i love that too and i would say that this hair is very low maintenance because this is the look that i like with this hair water mousse is all i need that's pretty low maintenance it's a pretty simple curly hair routine to get this look like do you guys see this like these curls are very nicely defined in everything they're not hard they're not crunchy look how flat this wig is if i wanted to wear it in a ponytail you guys this wig lays so flat but you still get all the fluffiness and the fullness of the hair of course at the bottom like, i'm very very pleased with this unit i have no doubt that this hair will not last me another eight months if not possibly even longer than that i don't plan on dyeing it or anything i kind of consider dyeing it jet black but when it comes to curly hair i don't want to say it's a waste but i'm just gonna leave it alone in its natural brown color i'm not sure if it's showing up like really dark on camera but i might i might go in and dye it jet black i haven't done it thus far so i don't really think i'm going much to end for the day so i'm not gonna go in and like really do too much right now as far as like defining the hair or anything i'm just going to touch it up just a very little bit i'm not going to use my brush or anything because i don't think i'm going to need it today by the way you guys this wig does have like some lace in the back i never cut the i have not cut this off like as long as i've been wearing this wig I have not cut this lace off in the back i usually just like tuck it in i guess that's for if you maybe wanted to pull it into a ponytail but i guess i should go ahead and cut that off just go in with some water just kind of saturate the hair I'm going to take a little bit of my mousse, rub it in, I'm just going to slick this back, get my curls. You guys have an idea, the hair is not 100% wet, but it's, it's almost almost to the point to where it's drenched if you guys want to see you know the curls and whatnot to get my edges out of the way
okay so that is pretty much that you guys i don't want my hairline to look like too neat or too put together like i just kind of want it to look natural so i don't want to go in and like do too much like if there's certain hairs that are out of place then i'm just gonna leave them because i feel like it just helps it to look just a little bit more realistic but of course you know if you know how to slay baby hairs then please by all means if you get this wig do whatever it is that you do best i always mess up baby hairs especially on curly hair so i'm not gonna touch it i have not been wearing it with a lot of baby hairs um initially when i installed the wig i did have just a little bit but now i they're still there i just kind of prefer to um brush them back and whatnot because so i do hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have been contemplating on getting this hair hopefully this video gives you just a little bit more reassurance to go ahead and get it because you will not regret it i really want people to see this hair because this hair is just so beautiful and i have no doubt that it wouldn't look good on anybody i will leave the link for you guys down below